Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Raid Shadow Legends episode 100. We have a lot of fun things happening today. It's going to be a very fun episode. And also I'm donating to the Leonardo DiCaprio Foundation. Picture should be here. Um, I'm donating for every 10 likes. I'm giving $1. So if we get 1000 likes, I will donate $100. Uh, this will be within the first seven days of the release date of this video. So seven days afterwards, I will see how many likes it has and I will donate that and I will take a picture and send it on my Discord server, which is linked in the description. So without any further ado, uh, we have to care about our planet, right? It's important to care about the ocean and about global warming and all that. Um, and as you can see, I've spent $100 today. I've spent a little bit. Um, I did purchase the skill pack, so today we will be skilling, finishing our Arbiter, and we will also skill up our Hegemon. So what I want to do today, I do want to open all 155 shards. Uh, I also want to do a lot of arena battles, because uh, that's kind of, I don't know, I wanted to do 100 arena battles for 100 episodes. But I think that's going to take a lot of time, but this video here is going to be very long if you're watching it. Um, so I may want to do that. I'm going to do a crap ton of arena. I'm going to do the, the shard openings. Um, and yeah, I suppose we will see what I'll do. I also do want to do some other stuff as well. I want to reflect back a little bit on my old videos. I want to talk a little bit about <laughs> how, ba how bad I was. No. Yeah, so I just do want to do a lot of arena. I want, I want to do clan boss. We're going to do clan boss today. I have a lot of keys there. We're going to have a good time, I hope. Uh, so without any further ado, I think I will do 10... I think I will do 30 blue shards, then I will do something else, then I will do another 30, then I will do something else, then I will do another 30. I think we should start off with 30 of them. Uh, so that's going to be very cool. Um, I do think that I want to take a screenshot of this, uh, just so that I have it in case I want to use it in the thumbnail. So currently I have 26 out of 100 heroes. So um, I do want to open these up. Um, I think 10 and 10 and 10 and 10 maybe. I don't know. Wh how should I do it? I think I'll do 5 and 10 and 5 and 10 and 5 and 10. Okay, so let's first of all do 5 heroes uh, individually and then we'll do 10 and then we'll do another 5 and then we'll do 10 uh, and I think that's fine. So technically in the end here I should have 125 shards. Uh, so yeah, let's do it. Let's do 5 of them. I should have enough silver to do this. Uh, and I will also skill up Pegamon at the same time. So this is the first opening. We got an Avenger. Uh, let's open it up one more. Maybe we'll get something something better. Uh, there we go. I got a, I got a Fortress Goon. There we go. We got a Fortress Goon. Let's open up one more uh, and see who who will get. Okay, so we got uh, an Elhain, which is a starter for you guys who don't know. Uh, in the beginning, I was kind of okay. Great, we got a we got an epic hero. Uh, in the very beginning, I I wish that I would have chosen an Elhain instead of a Kale, um, because I got kicked by Elhains. Uh, but then later I started to appreciate Kale more, and now I'm very happy that I ended up choosing Kale. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a story for you guys. <laughs> but yeah, now I don't even use him. But I was happy at the time that I was using him. Okay. Also, I dressed up. I know this scarf, uh, scarf, this uh, tie doesn't really work, but okay, it's kind of fine. Okay, so we can also do an epic ascension pack. I will not do that. Now let's do a 10x. Please get me a legendary. It would be great to get a legendary on this beautiful day. Uh, we got a flinger. We got a hosp. Oh God! Oh God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> So we got a legendary. We got the dwarf. We got a we got a legendary dwarf. Um, that's very awesome. Um, is she good? Attacks one enemy two times. Has a essentially a 60 percent chance of placing a standy buff after a second hit. Um, that's awesome. Uh, attacks one enemy, then attacks all other enemies for the second hit, dealing sixty damage uh, of the dam from the first hit. Um, attacks all enemies has a seventy percent chance of placing a stun debuff for one turn. Places HP burn uh, debuff for two turns on enemies under stun. Uh, places an extra hit uh, on enemies uh, not under stun debuffs. Uh, and then we have this. Uh, this champion's rest uh, rest is by, okay. For each stun debuff, uh, this champion places 
uh, and there's speed increased for everyone under a HP burn and increases magic ally attack in all battles by 36% okay so we got our first legendary hero already that's fantastic that's very good okay so now let's do another okay I'm I'm not going to purchase that pack even though it it could be very tempting you know what um, it's it's only it only happens once um, I will do it you only do this once, right? You only make episode 100 once. Uh, so I figured why not do it. And then at the same time, I should just purchase another 10 shards. Then we'd have 155. So let's do that. Uh, let's purchase, well, another 11 shards. Um, and then and then we're good. Then we're very good. So now we have even more shards. Um, I think I will do another 10x. And then I will do a 1x. And then we will continue to do other things as well. Uh, so let's see here. Okay, so I got a rare, I got the Siege Breaker, I got an Atoll, I got the Gore Mask, I got a Flinger, uh, Anointed, Cataphract, uh, Elder, Runic Warder, Arcanist. Okay, so I got all rares. That's understandable though. Let's do this one as well. So yeah, 165 shards and we've already within, yeah, not too many shards. We already got a Legendary. That's fantastic. So now that I have all of these uh, Legendary books, I will apply them. Uh, so first of all, I do want to finish. Uh, I do want to finish my arbiter. Uh, now, now she is fully maxed. My ray is fully maxed as well. Um, so that means, uh, yeah, my ray, my tomb lord is not maxed, but I don't next necessarily care too much about him. I'll be honest. Um, yeah, let's do the hegemon. Let's upgrade all of the hegemon skills. Uh, we'll see how. Okay, so I'm so happy that this happened. That we got. Okay, level four, level four. Uh, and then we'll do this as well. Level 5 and uh, level 5. So yeah, now Hegemon has the skills marks as well. So now he will deal more damage in Arena. Uh, and also, I think I... I don't know whom to use the epic uh, skill books on. So I will not do that. But there we go. We have got, we've marked our Hegemon skills. Now he's skilled up fully. Uh, he's having all the debuffs chance. Very good. Um, every Everything is fine. <laughs> His power is pretty good right now. Uh, we've also finished our Arbiter. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't even have enough books to do anything with with this guy. But I don't, I don't think it's too important to be honest. I have, I have the important ones here. The damage doesn't really matter. Um, and the race skills is also maxed. So now all the skills are maxed on all of my legendary heroes, which is fantastic. Uh, so I think I want to do some arena now. Let's also head over the index and claim a little bit of of stuff. Uh, I got a Romero, um, and uh, yeah, Romero was gotten from here, and I also got a Dwarf. I got a Legendary Dwarf, uh, which is Trunda Guild Mallet. Um, she will be very interesting to build as well. Then we have a Runic Warder, uh, which is also very cool. Uh, so yeah, we got our first Legendary Hero. That's fantastic. And we have 140 blue shards remaining. This is excellent. This is so good, man. It's so good. Um... So yeah, let's do a little bit of arena and see and see how see how good we are now. How much damage <clears throat> the Hegemon deals. Uh, so let's start off and fight everyone level sixty, and I will refresh nobody who's not level sixty. Or I I will try and pick like a hundred K team power. I want to pick some super duper battles. <laughs> uh, I do have a lot of gems to do this, uh, so we can probably find some super duper battles. Ninety eight K team power. What about you? An I 82k team power. Okay, let's let's see if we can find someone here. 145k team power. Let's try and fight these guys. This is a resistance based team. Uh, resistance based teams. I'm curious over how well I can do here. Uh, I suppose we'll see. Um, so let's let's do the crippling cold and see if we deal more damage now. We should deal more damage. Yeah, I'm almost kind of wrecking that uh, that one hero there. Uh, there, that's a. It's a very quick team I have right here, unless everyone just counterattacks, which it would be very interesting. There we go. It's my turn one more time to hopefully do a crit here and poison these guys, and then I will do this as well. And yeah, literally all of my all of my things are are marks now. My entire team skills is completely maxed. Um, this team could also be a very fun team. 159 kinetic power. There, uh, one came more than me. Uh, which is fine. Um, I hope that I will uh, skill lock. Uh, I hope that I will skill lock the arbiter. 
I skill locked the Arbiter, which is fantastic. So in case it's her turn, I'm fine. Even though I'm weakened, it doesn't really matter. Um, okay, so I am taking... These guys are a very quick team. However, they're not necessarily doing a, a lot of damage to me. Uh, they're not doing a lot of damage. I do think I want to focus on, on taking out the Arbiter. So I will try and take her out. Uh, and as I'm stunned, there's not a lot I can do. Uh, so I will simply just have to wait. And then the Ray will do and do some damage to me. Uh, my defense is decreased. Uh, at least some of them died. I will I will revive myself here, uh, and I will also uh, increase my attack, my my turn meter and my attack. I will see if I can just attack attack the uh, what's his name again? That's Fushan, right? I think that's Fushan. And then I will take out the ray. This was a very close battle, actually. I'm very happy about that. This was a quite as quite a quite a close battle, and I was very happy fighting them. Uh, like that. And what about you? You have 123k team power. Let's see if we can beat them. I love b having close battles. That's very fun. Uh, so let's 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 see if we are able to beat these guys. Now that my Hegemon is stronger, he is dealing way more damage. It looks like he is dealing. Um, what was it? Five plus five plus ten plus ten or something. Uh, I can actually see uh, just after this how how much more damage he is dealing because I think it's just overall damage which it gives like the the skill damage um so I think he deals um well I know he deals uh, approximately 20% more damage so he got a one fi one fifth uh, of the damage increased uh, so yeah now let's let's do a 5x and then let's do a 10x uh, so let's do a 5x right now. Maybe we'll get another legendary. I'm super happy with having just gotten one legendary, I'll be honest. But I obviously want more legendaries. I don't know if Tundra Guilt Mallet is very good or not. Uh, but um, I, I don't know. You guys let me know. I can build her up to 6 stars. Make her have godlike gear and um, finish her masteries. And up I, can I won't upgrade her skills uh, at in, in, be in the beginning. Uh, but we can try and figure something out like that. Okay, so now that we've done 5, I will do another 10x. Um, which hopefully I will get a legendary hero from. Uh, so let's try and do this. I'm curious if I'm able to do it or not. Uh, I got a War Priest, I got a Metal Shaper, a Slasher, not too good, Hellfang. I got a Doom Priest, which I think could be useful. Magister, Ares, Norhorn, Tree Feller, and then a Crossbowman. So I got one epic hero. Uh, I've seen this hero being used before. I'm not sure if they're too good or not. Uh, you guys let me know if Doom Priest is worth it for my team uh, in general because I do I do have a pretty subs what I need is someone to potentially remove Tomb Lord. But I, I'm not sure Tomb Lord is a good hero. He can decrease defense. What I would want someone to do is to stun. Uh, but uh, the new legendary dwarf she won't stun. Uh, unless they have uh, HP burn, which kinda is bad. Because, uh, yeah, as you can see, Attack Soul Enemies has a chance of, of stunning them. Uh, but, um, wait, I'm stupid. Yeah, okay, so she does stun everyone, so I could technically... Uh, I could technically use her instead of the Tomb Lord, and I would stun people. But there is only a 70% chance, uh, which is a good chance overall. Um, and she can also do uh, place HP burn uh, afterwards as well. I think she could be a very heavy hitter. She is an attacker, uh, so let me know if, if she could be better when it comes to when, uh, instead. Of, maybe she is better than Tomb Lord. Who knows? Uh, let me know about that. Um, anyway, let's let's continue to to do some stuff here. Let's see if we can do a little bit of faction wars. Whom do I have here? Bannerlords. Uh, do I have I done this yet? Uh, I have not really done it yet, so that's not really going to be interesting. Um, I did do it a little bit off camera yesterday, like this stuff, but yeah, let's not do that. Lizardmen, I haven't done anything with Lizardmen because I don't really have any good Lizardmen. So, yeah, I guess we will not be, fac be doing Faction Wars right now. Um, what I also want to do is a little bit of Clan Boss. I want to experiment with the new team um, that I was shown. Uh, by by my my friend one of uh, my my, pi my friend pirate slucker. So let's see here um, uh, what team it was. Okay, so I have the team. I have the team that was recommended to me. I need to see if these guys are geared or not. Okay, so this guy is geared. Steel skull is, ge is geared. I'm also looking for skull crusher, which is also geared. 
then I'm looking for Kale, which is also geared, then I'm looking for Apothecary, which is also geared uh, at the moment, which is very good, and then Tyrell, which also should be geared. So let's see how much damage we can do. This will be an auto mode um, in the in the clan boss, I think. Uh, also, um, let's see here. Let's let's do it. Let's go ahead and do some clan boss. Uh, I'm doing nightmare, of course. Even though I'm doing, yeah, I shouldn't really be doing much weak hits. Okay, so um, let's take out uh, Tomb Lord. Is Tomb Lord worth taking out for Kale? Because Tomb Lord does poison very nicely. He does poison probably better than um, than Kale does. Uh, because Kale, I think, only does a 2.5%. And he doesn't do it too often. Currently, he does... Uh, well, this is attacks one enemy as a 80% chance of placing a poison. This is kind of all the time. 100% chance of poisoning if he has the, uh, if he has the stats to do it. Um, and he will also poison... Uh, with a 5% attacks 4 times at random and he also yeah he does have a pretty good good likelihood of poisoning um, and he does have he does have the war master instead of I do genuinely think that tomb lord is a better poisoner uh, because he does have a lot of crit rate uh, right he does he does have, have a pretty substantial crit rate um, he does have a 66% 66% crit rate uh, I wish I could have a little bit more crit rate, but I don't think there is any artifacts uh, of the variety that he's using, which would be better. Uh, but I do think that Tomb Lord probably is a better choice here. He also has a 185% uh, accuracy versus uh, the Kale barely having any accuracy. However, the Kale does have lifesteal, but I don't think it matters too much. Uh, so I think that I actually want to use Tomb Lord instead of Kale. Uh, and I do want to use the the aura of the Tyrell, um, and I do not. Was it um, was it a cold art I wanted, uh, or was it someone else? Just give me one second. So it was an apothecary I wanted instead of the instead of her. Uh, so let's remove the cold art and add my apothecary in. Uh, he does have some power, so let's go ahead and see how we, how we'll do. Uh, I think this is a proper formation and everything. Uh, I can actually I can actually copy it exactly if I really wanted to. Also, I didn't know that the skull crusher had the resistance thing, but that's very cool. Um, and then we will add steel skull here, and yeah, tomb lord is in the place of the kale. I think this is worth it because the tomb lord has many multiple hits and he does poison a lot. Um, I do think I want to actually try it on normal mode. Uh, so first of all, let's uh, go let's do so that I have a counter attack. Uh, I want to buff my speed. I don't know if uh, Arbiter is better than Apothecary here. I don't think she's better. So let's boost my speed and my turn meter. Um, I will decrease the attack and the defense of the boss. I do have a 185 accuracy. Um, I think I will do the increase. I don't think I need the, the, the increased defense yet because the boss will not kill me. Uh, so I think I want to start poisoning immediately because there is no sense if the boss deals like 3000 damage to me There is no point for me to do the shield yet um, And also here I think the the one main skill here is uh, Is the best one to decrease his attack uh, Attacks all enemies has a chance of placing a decreased defense Attacks one enemy decreases the targets turn meter um, I don't know if the boss can have his turn meter decreased so I think I want to do attack number one with Tyrell, and I will decrease his attack. And as you can see, the boss barely deals any damage at the moment. So there's currently no point. Uh, there's there's no point whatsoever for me at the moment uh, to heal myself. So now it's just time to hit the boss normally. He is resisting my skull crusher. I didn't look at his accuracy. Uh, I did a weak hit on the boss there, but that's fine. Uh, I can choose to poison the boss. Yeah, this is this is what I want. I want to just give the boss a lot of poison. Uh, I think it's the 5% poison, if I recall. Yeah, it is a 5% poison. Because if Tomb Lord crits, that's fantastic for Tomb Lord. Because then the boss will be poisoned times 4. So I think that deals more damage than him just doing his attack number 1. As long as it's available, of course. Um, so yeah, let's just continue to do attack number 1 with Tyrell here. We will continue to do attack number 1. Uh, with my apothecary, the boss is barely dealing any damage to me, and I will counterattack a little bit. Uh, now I will see if I can decrease the speed of the boss. It was blocked. 
I, I'm not sure if he can be affected by decrease speed or turn meter decrease. Now it's time for me to do the ally protection one more, one more time here. Um, again, I don't think it's necessary for me to do... I like the decrease attack, it's, un, it's irrelevant. I'm not doing a lot of base damage anyway. The main source of my damage is poison and giant slayer and or war master. Uh, so let's now increase my entire speed here, my entire team speed. So that it's my turn, hopefully multiple times. And uh, now it's my Tomb Lord's turn. Uh, and yeah, I don't think the boss can have his, have his um, def uh, speed decreased. And now we took a little bit more poison damage, which is great. I am currently poisoned. Um, well, I'm not poisoned. Uh, should I should I do this? Uh, removes all debuffs. I don't think it's... I'm not sure if it's worth doing that for Tyrell. I don't know if... Okay, so the poison didn't trigger, so maybe it would have been worth it. I'm not fully sure. At least I did a little bit of damage here. Let's do the death burst. Let's give the boss a bunch of poison. And uh, now it, now my Tyrell is finally here to just be good again. Um, I will I will still not do anything here. I don't need a shield at the moment. The boss is still not strong enough to do much damage to me. So there is no sense in doing that. I will decrease his attack and his defense. Uh, and I will increase my own attack and uh, make myself unkillable. I will also buff my speed. And uh, yeah, now it's my Tyrell's turn and I will do a good amount of damage and I will decrease that boss's attack one more time because I can. And now I just poison the boss even more, which is fantastic. And then I also dealt a lot of damage there, uh, luckily with the Tomb Lord. Um, I think the Tomb Lord is just an ultimate choice over Ka Kale. I may be wrong in saying that, but that's, that's how I've seen it so far. Um, so yeah, let's just continue to attack the boss. I dealt 2 times 62k damage there, that's very good. Uh, I don't have any attack increase, but then again, that doesn't really matter too much. And the attack decrease, it doesn't really matter either. So now we'll see if I'm able to crit one more time, and I am. The boss got only... he got poisoned some, which is good, because the poison is, the, is a good amount of damage. Uh, I did do a good amount of damage there as well, and the poison did hurt the boss a good amount. Uh, now it's time to just do more damage with my Tomb Lord. Again, I don't think it's worth the, like, the attack 3 on my Tyrell. Uh, I'm not fully sure yet though, um, may maybe at some point. Now I will give myself counter-attack one more time. I'm happy that the turn meter is as it is on, not like the skill cooldown on my two on my skull crusher is the same. And now I will counter-attack with everyone um, and I just want to do a lot of more damage with my Tomb Lord, uh, which I'm very happy that I have a counter-attack at the moment. Yeah, the attack, uh, yeah, it uh, decreases the turn meter. I think he is immune to turn meter decrease, so I don't think it's a worth, worthwhile thing. I suppose I could use it to decrease the boss defense, but then again, that doesn't really matter either. All that matters is poison and giant slayer and all that. Um, so I genuinely think I will do this and then I will do blight. Uh, so yeah, the boss got heavily poisoned right now, which is great. The poison ignores armor, so it will deal 50k regardless. And now I will counter attack at least on two heroes, which is very good. And I will just continuously attack the boss here and I will decrease his attack. Which technically means I don't need to use Blight. I technically don't need to use Blight as long as the boss has his attack decreased. Because that's the only useful thing the Blight is used for. Because uh, I, I, I don't think the boss will have his, his turn meter reset. Because uh, I do think he's immune to that. Uh, so I genuinely I did, will just do attack number one because blight currently isn't use, useful unless the boss has. I will do it when the boss doesn't have his attack decreased. When he does, when he does have just ordinary attack, then we're talking. But at the moment, this is this is the best way to go about it. So let's just attack the boy, the boss normally and poison him. Uh, and my skull crusher got stunned, but that's okay. Uh, now we did a heal reduction, no, not that that really matters. The boss still have another turn with his decrease attack, so I currently don't need to do Blight. Um, now I will increase the speed of everyone, uh, I will do this, and I will hopefully be able to... Uh, I'm not sure if I want to start doing this, because the Skull Crusher is taking some damage. Um, will the boss be able to one-shot him? I hope that the boss will not one-shot and my Skull Crusher. Hopefully my Skull Crusher will survive for one more round. The boss currently has his attack decreased still, which means it's it's fantastic. I think I will exhaust a turn in just healing the Skull Crusher, just in case, uh, for whatever reason. Um, I'm, it may have been a waste of, of things, but that, that's what I did. I just didn't feel too safe. The Apothecary doesn't have a lot of health as well. 
Um, but yeah, currently the boss does not uh, have an attack decrease, which means I think I want to try and do this. Um, I will sacrifice a 2.5% poison, but that's okay. Now it's time to use Blight, because now the boss doesn't have his attack decrease anymore until now. Uh, so I think this was a very worthwhile thing. Now my team is tanking a little bit more, and I can just continue to, to poison the boss. Uh, and I will also be able to do my counter-attack thing on everyone here. And now that the boss will attack me, and I've also luckily made him uh, have his attack decrease for three rounds, which is fantastic. It's time for me to increase my own speed, uh, and it's just time for me to attack the boss, as, I, as I've as i done typically right now, until, until this point. Uh, my apothecary was stunned, but that doesn't really matter too much. I'm so happy that I'm critting most of the time uh, with my with my Tomb Lord. I'm very happy about that. Um, I still... I think I will use... Because um, this guy only hits what, two times. Apothecary hits more. Um, I genuinely think I want to do this. Oh, shit. I, I'm sorry. Um, I genuinely thought that it would do to to all allies because it had... I'm sorry. I made a big mistake. <laughs> it happens, I suppose. Um, it, it, it does happen. Like, there, there's not much you can do with that. Uh, so now I can... I can... Hmm. Attacks three times at random. I suppose I will just heal myself. Uh, I figured why not so that the boss doesn't end up end ending me. Because uh, that wouldn't really be good. Uh, so now I will give myself some counterattack and ally protection. Um, I will... Think that I will start using the shield thing more often. And now it's time to hit the boss even more so. Uh, and it's almost time for my Tomb Lords to do even more damage stuff. Please decrease the attack. It was a weak hit. The boss attacks uh, was not decreased. Uh, luckily, he got it decreased while I counterattacked, which is fantastic. Because next time, now, it's it's time for me to use um, the second attack of the Tomb Lord, um, which is fantastic. So let's increase my own speed. Um, yeah, what's it called? Death Burst. It's time to use Death Burst and poison the boss a lot. Yeah, I think that's where my main source of damage is against the boss. Um, so all I really have to do is just survive this and uh, it will be great. Uh, so currently I don't really feel like I want to heal anyone. Uh, see, all the poison damage the boss is taking, he's taking a lot of poison damage. Uh, currently he does still have his attack decreased so I don't need to use Blight. Again, I think he's immune to, to, to Terminator decreasement. I genuinely do think that. Um, I, I will I will start healing up my, my apothecary a bit. I don't need to decrease the defense of the boss because I'm barely dealing any damage anyway. It's the poison and everything. And again, the, like the mastery stuff. Thank God the boss got his attack decreased from that. I'm very happy about that. I guess I will just have to continuously hit the boss for a while here. I do think that I want to start using uh, the protection thing. Um, I don't feel like I need to heal anyone at the moment. Uh, with my apothecary, I'd rather deal the uh, giant slayer damage. That burst, I'm still critting every time. It's a it's a 66% crit chance, but the poison is fantastic. Yeah, po Tomb Lord basically dealt 250k damage here, which is fantastic. I don't think I need to do the heal with my steel skull yet. Um, it's time for me to give myself a lot of speed here. Um, I'm I'm not sure if it's time for me to. Okay, I'm not sure if it's time for me to do the counter attack with my skull crusher yet. Yes, it is. That's very good. I have the I have the counter attack. I do think that I want to heal. Um, I'm not sure. I do think that I want to heal up my skull crusher just so that he survives. Um, I'm not going to heal up my apothecary now. Uh, not yet. Uh, maybe I should have done that. Oh well. Uh, the boss still has his attack decrease, so I don't really need to do the blight. Um, and I'm very happy about that. Um, so, so, uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen one more time. My Tyrell is weak against the boss, which means there's a 30% chance of doing a weak hit. Which means he will not place the decrease attack debuff. Uh, currently, I am able to do this because the boss still has his attack decreased. Uh, it sucks, my apothecary died and I have no way of reviving. Uh, so I should technically actually have healed my apothecary while I had the chance. Um, because currently it's getting it's getting rather difficult to survive. Luckily, I still have uh, a few heroes here. And the boss does have his attack decreased already, so I don't really need to do much. Um, so yeah, now I will counter attack and I will decrease his attack, which means I don't have to use blight. Um, and I will just continue to to do this and decrease his attack for three rounds. Uh, now I do think that I want 
to just heal up my... Hmm... I don't think I want to heal up my Skull Crusher, because my Skull Crusher is important to keep alive until the next time we have counterattack. Uh, the boss does have his attack decreased, so we don't really have to worry about that. Uh, I've just gotten stunned, which is unfortunate, but that, that just shows that it's important for me uh, to, have, have healed, to have healed him, you know, so that's very good. Uh, now it's time for me to... Uh, the boss still has his attack decreased, so it's just time to poison the boss. I need to do the shield or heal someone very soon. I need the Skull Crusher to be healed, because uh, if he doesn't get... Okay, this is unfortunate. Uh, luckily, my Skull Crusher will have the option to give myself a little bit of counterattack as a lost stand, which is very good. Uh, I did a wicked, but I did uh, I did Giant Slayer or whatever I have. Uh, I'd, I think it's Giant Slayer. Uh, then we will just continue to do a lot of damage here. And uh, now my team is almost dead. My Skull Crusher is still alive. So it's just time to do a lot of damage with the Tyrell. And my Skull Crusher will not have his immune to damage thing at this point. But it's good because he took one of the large hits, uh, the 30k hits damage from the boss, which is great. Uh, I'm not stunned, which means it's my turn and I can get one final stand before it's too late. Uh, so with this, I dealt 7.87 million damage. I hoped for more, but as you can see, Tomb Lord is very good. He dealt 4 million damage. Tomb Lord is a beast. <laughs> it's a very good hero. Now I think I want to do 30 openings. I want to do 30 shards. Uh, so I want to do 5, 10, 5, 10. Because uh, that would be 30 shards. So 5 and 10, 5 and 10. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do 5x and then 10x. We've gotten one legendary so far. So I'm curious. Okay, so we've gotten a Templar. Not too bad. Not too bad whatsoever. Um, we have also gotten a... Uh, well, it's, it's not too great either. A Flinger. Um, who else will I get? So I got another blue. Even when I see blue things now, I am kind of excited because you high elves, I think it's blue if you get a legendary. So currently I got a husk. I know for a fact that husk is a very good hero in clan boss. Uh, so this may be very useful for my clan boss team, uh, which as you guys can, can see needs a lot of work. Um, and I got a kale, which is another starter. This guy, man. This guy, I've had a lot of episode of him, uh, episodes of him. I've had so many episodes. So many episodes. Okay, so let's do a 10x. Okay, please give me a legendary. I will not click and skip past everything. I got the Fury Stoker. got the Tormentor. I got an Infernal Baroness, which is an epic. I got a Necro Hunter. I got a Siegebreaker Ironclad. Or Necro Hunter, I think that's Necro, not Necro. Necro, yeah. So I got a Necro Hunter and an Infernal Baroness. Um, I don't know if this guy is good or not. Uh, you get, oh, it's a veal hero. Oh, an infernal baroness. Are you also a veal hero? Yeah, I got two veal heroes here. That's very good. Now let's do another 5x and then we'll do another 10x. Um, so I got another blue. I got a uh, gator, which is, I don't know. I don't think gator is very good uh, to my memory. Um, then I also got a spike head, which isn't too good. I, honestly, I'm I'm kind of let down from the spike head there. <laughs> then I got uh, an ironclad, which is essentially a, a spike head v v2. <laughs> and then, and then I got a spirit host. Okay, not too good to be honest. It could have been better. Uh, and then we also have a chopper. Get to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Okay, so let's do another 10x ancient shard. Maybe I will get another legendary. It would be awesome. There is a 0.5% chance. I got an Asana, uh, which I actually think I needed because I I fed mine. Uh, I got an Honor Guard. I got a Slasher, War Maiden, Fury Stoker, Magus, and Master Butcher. So an Asana is a very good hero. Uh, I, t I think I heard, I heard she can be good. So... It's good that I got her because I had already sacrificed her and I kind of, I suppose, regretted that or something. I don't know. I, I suppose, yeah. Let's see here whom I've gotten from the Night Revenant. I got the Necro Hunter uh, and I also got um, a, a, an Honor Guard, which I guess I haven't had before. A Master Butcher as well. And then I also got the Infernal Baroness. I think the Infernal Baroness is actually very good. I've also almost gotten all of the epic demon spawn heroes, which is fantastic. Um, so let's continue a little bit to do arena, see if we can find some uh, difficult battles. Um, I do not think that I have any super good uh, things here. I have this, but that's, it's 4 to 5. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have a lot of great, 
glyphs at the moment. I need to farm that. I need to I need to get to the stage where my ray is, <laughs> which is fantastic. Okay, so let's continue here and do a little bit of arena. Um, so the top teams. Okay, let's see. What about Vir Virginia? Let's do it. You have a skull crown, which someone has said told me that skull crown is kind of like ray. So they were asking um, about my ray mass, my my ray video, my guide video, and I was like, yeah, I've made it and. Yeah, so that's awesome. Uh, you know who you are. Hi there. Nice to see you. Thank you for being a loyal commenter and, and viewer. Okay, so let's let's do this. Now Blight is good. I have to remember. <laughs> We're not in Clan Boss anymore. We're not in Texas anymore. Okay, there we go. So I've poisoned them, which is great. The Skull Crown does counter-attack. I actually do want to read her skills. Um, what uh, what faction is... is uh, okay, so if I find the Skull Crown, I do want to read her skills how she does uh, how she does some stuff okay so i do think that i just want to slow down the shiranami or decrease her turn meter my blight also just deals more damage now uh I, it was not leveled whatsoever uh, so i'm actually curious uh, my, my not my blight what am i ca talking about attack number one uh, it's called the grave's gasp yeah it also deals 10 percent more damage which is something to note as well that he just deals 10 more damage on the attack one and 20 percent more damage on the attack two i wish there it would increase to skill lock chance 70 percent uh but i know that's kind of too super op so i understand why not uh, so do we have any enemies with the skull crown here right now it doesn't look like we have that and we have a team with 100k team power um we have a team with 77k team power um 102k and then we have a team with 102k i think we'll refresh at least we got another free refresh from this let's see if we can fight dark, dark rend and just want to see if we see any enemies okay nos dormy will probably be good I want to see, okay, so here is a skull crown. I just want to read her, her skill. Attacks all enemies, places attack, uh, place, uh, has more than 50% health. Uh, attacks all enemies, um, unkillable. Um, count, attacks all enemies, places an extra hit. Um, unkillable every time their HP drops. Uh, so it doesn't look like uh, she does counter attacks. Maybe that's just like uh, the mastery, which has triggered a lot on on a lot of uh, a lot of enemies that I faced so far. Um, so let's try and do this team right here. Let's fight them. Um, I'm looking forward to doing this. Prince Kimar, you're going down. Hopefully, uh, I hope that I skill lock most of them, which I did. I did not skill lock the one that buff buffs their turn meter though, uh, which is something to note. But I I do think it's just going to be my turn one more time. I do think that I just want to take out the Chasseur because he can remove their debuffs uh, and I do not want that because they have a lot of debuffs. So I just took out their team pretty easily here. Uh, let's do this team. This is, a, this is a very exciting team. I'm very excited to fight these guys. Um, this should be an insane battle. A full legendary enemy team with great heroes. A good team power, almost a size mine, which is surprising to say. I, ca I still can't believe that they have 158 158k team power. I had 155k yesterday, but yeah, as I skilled up, the the battle rate, uh, the power went up as well. Uh, so yeah, now my Hegemon has 46, 47k power or something like that. Um, so yeah, I did skill lock the big one, which is great, and I skill locked Rask. Um, the be the be the best one, in my opinion, is the big one because he can stun me with his AOE attack. If I didn't have a ray, I wish I had a big un. Hopefully, I will free some of these guys. Okay, so I just ended up one shotting all of them. It's kind of fun to one-shot teams with 150k team, uh, 153k team power, especially when they have uh, what I consider a godlike hero, that abyss hero right there. Uh, I'm not fully sure his name, but you, he's he's godlike in uh, in clan boss. I've heard. Uh, so let's fight this team as well. 116k team power. I think I should keep it to above 115k team power for me to fight them maybe. Uh, and if they have interesting heroes, maybe I'll fight lower teams. Who knows? If I find habits with using two heroes being 125k team power, then I'll fight them. Because habits have heroes with like 60k team power per hero. 60k power per hero, essentially. Yeah, so let's just take out the martyr. This was a rather easy battle. Um, so do do we have anyone else being very good here? 128k team power. This is in this is fair. They have a Frex Frex Frexvar Tor Torwin or whatever. Um, so let's see here. Let's do let's do a few few battles. Prince Kimar. I did skill lock a lot of them. Uh, let's also boost my turn meter and increase my attack and decrease everyone's attack and defense. 
Um, sadly, none of them had less than 50 percentile, so I didn't get to do the to, to do the Fury Strike. I don't for the love of God, I can't remember the name of the se of the Tomb Lord second attack, but you know which I mean, right? Okay, so uh, I will take out the Skull Crusher so he doesn't do counter attack. Um, I will decrease the turn meter of the Bad Alcazar so it's not his turn, hopefully. Because uh, it's, if it's his turn, I would be very sad. Then I will end him, and I will poison the Frexvar Blood Twin, or whatever his name is. I guess we'll see. I'm, I'm not 100% certain, but his, his name is um, uh, Drakestar Blood Twin. Okay, Drakestar Blood Twin. Uh, okay, good. Blood Twin. Bl Blood Twin? I don't know. 111k, that doesn't seem too interesting. Um, the top team as well seem, yeah. Okay, so let's let's refresh. Let's use our gems here. We have 734 gems. Um, I'm not going to fight this team right here. Um, what about you? You get, you have a team with a Jareg as the main, increasing the health uh, of everyone in the battle. This is a stun damage team. Um, this could be a very interesting team. They do not have speed, so they may be very tanky, or they just have a ridiculous speed. Like I've, yeah, there there is teams with like insane speeds. So I suppose we'll see. Let me do crippling cold. Um, so all of them got like healing passive. Maybe that's a directing. Um, a skill locked at least important one. The, the Valkyrie natural also would be good to 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 skill lock because he can stun me. But I'm very happy that I skill locked uh, Valkyrie so that she doesn't do their counter attack thing on me. Let's do a blight and decrease all of their defense and everything. Uh, let's see here if I'm strong enough. Okay, so I did do some damage. The Jareg did survive. Um, I think that I will just decrease his turn. Okay, so he is resisting me, uh, which is fine. Because uh, it seems that I'm able to beat him before he's able to hit me regardless. Then I will do a Death Burst. That's the name, the Death Burst. Okay, good to know. I'm mixing skill names. Um, Neuronic, not going to fight you. We have an Arbiter here with 109k team power. I'm not sure that would do too well against me, even though it's it's difficult for me to say no to a to an team with an Arbiter. Uh, let's see here. We have a level 52 power. Um, could this be a good team? No, 99k team power. We have this team right here. 124k team power. They have... A Fushan, not a Raisin Scarhide. <laughs> and they have their big Un and their Apothecary. This could be an interesting battle. And they also have a Valentino, I think. And yeah, th th this... Okay, so they're not super duper tanky. They're definitely quick, unless they're just counter-attacked because of Masteries. Uh, but now I should be able to just end them very easily. So let's just take out the Fushan. They'll be poisoned. Okay, so that's unfortunate. It's a team with a good amount of power, but... Not a lot of backbone, uh, I suppose. Maybe it's just... I don't want to be rude to any team. So, Serag, if you're watching this video, you did a good job. I, I, I love your team. Your team is awesome. Continue to build on it. I think you have a good, good hero. You Good heroes. You have a good potential. Especially with the 24% um, uh, aura. Um, so, yeah. Let's let's uh, go ahead and use these, uh, these two here. Because I have them. And uh, let's head over to the arena one more time. I do think I can get even more... Uh, but yeah, what I wanted to look was the base. Yeah, ally speed in all battles by 24%. That's very good. In all battles. Arbiter only has in arena. Um, okay, good. I think we're satisfied uh, with this uh, here. With this cluster. Um, so before we continue, also I wanted to know Warlord, right? It's a Warlord. Yeah, it's a Warlord. I think he's godlike in, in, the, in the clan boss. Until, like, who was it again who dealt, like, a lot? Uh, Dracomor Dragomorph or, Dr or Dracomorph did a, lo did a lot. So now I will do 5x, uh, 10x, 5x, uh, 10x. Sure, so let's do 5x, 10x, 5x, 10x. Uh, so let's see here if we can get another legendary. So I got an Adjudicator. I don't think I've gotten an adjudic. Oh, wait, have I? I'm not sure. I suppose we'll see in the index if we've gotten her before or not. Adjudicator, I, fe I feel like that's a very... I think that that's someone I've gotten. I must have can't um, increase my hero capacity, which means I actually need to fill up my vault a little bit because I actually get, got full. Uh, so let's just put a lot of heroes in here. Just let's let's see if we can fill it up. Yeah, I I completely forgot about my hero space. 
But that sometimes happens when you have 150 shards, you have only 100 hero slots. Maybe that will increase that at some point. Uh, hints, hints to the game, I suppose. Also, that's that's cool of that one uh, hero to have his resistance thing. Uh, move to vault. I don't think I can increase my hero, hero space here, right? No, it's... Uh, I cannot increase my... I cannot increase my hero capacity the more I don't think, right? It that's what it said. Uh, yeah, okay, collection capacity anymore. Yeah, so 100 is the is the thing. So let's continue. Let's do a 1x and then another 1x and then a 10x. Uh, so I got another rare. Um, nothing too interesting to be honest. Uh, Slayer. It's kind of it's kind of whatever. Um, let's see here. So I got um, a War Maiden. Not too bad. Let's do a 10x summoning here. And see if we can get any any luck here. So we got a Mystic Hand, we got a Grumbler, a Marked, Diabolist, Alika. I think Alika can be good. I don't know. Kale, another Kale, another Starter, Judge, Totem, and Grimskin. I don't know if Grimskin is good. He maybe he is. This is good for faction wars. And then let's do another. Um, let's do another ten x in once, because uh, then I will have exactly seventy shards. And that would be way easier. And I'm actually about halfway down. I got the Cello as well. I know for a fact that he's a very popular hero. Uh, so that's good. Um, if hopefully... Actually, no, I'm not going to say hopefully I'll get an Ethereal. Because there is better legendaries. But I hope that I get a legendary which can replace my Tomb Lord. Uh, that would be very cool. Or someone else in my team. But yeah, my... I don't know. I love Tomb Lord. So I shouldn't really speak too loudly here. So we got a uh, Bug Walker. Nothing too interesting. We'll do another few shards here. I wish there was a summoning event, but this is episode 100. We won't wait until a summoning event. We will do it here uh, on the episode 100. Uh, so I got a uh, Valerie. Nothing too interesting, to be honest. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, and we also got a Maiden, which is kind of whatever as well. I don't really care too much about that. Then we got a uh, Tormentor. Nothing too interesting. It's kind of whatever as well. And then I got another Chaos. So I've gotten three Chaos, I believe. Uh, so yeah, I wish I could transfer them to you guys or to someone of so to some of you guys who may have needed it, needed them rather. Uh, Ogryn tribes. Um, okay, let's see here. Who who did I get? Okay, so I got Grimskin. I haven't gotten that guy before. I don't know, but I think someone told me that I should maybe level up the Royal Guard skills. Uh, but I do think maybe Tyrell's skills is more... Imp I think there is someone with more important skills. Also, I've just gotten a lot of new things here. Uh, who else did I get? So I got a uh, Grumbler, which I hadn't gotten before. He looks like Gimli or like, you know, from the Lord of the Rings. Um, anyway, okay. So this is very good. Uh, what else did I want to do? Uh, I suppose we'll just do a little bit more of, of Arena. Like, I'm kind of... I kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy. We have 70 more shards to open. So I think we'll do a few more arena battles. Um, I have another 10 attempts. We'll try and find some super exciting ones. Uh, so I can, this team, whatever. Uh, what about this team? 136k team power with an Orbiter as their main, as their main hero. Uh, so let's, let's try and see here um, if I'm able to beat them or not. I hope that I'm able that I'm able to. These guys, this team has a, has a lot of good heroes. Luckily, I did skill lock the Arbiter. However, I'm quicker. I skill locked all of the Im super important heroes. Actually, I'm so happy about the skill lock there. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, and block cooldown skills. It doesn't matter. Let's let's see if we can freeze these guys. Yeah, I did freeze the Lysandra, and then I can simply do this. And it's it's really whatever for me. I can just I can just do the crit meter. It doesn't even matter. Uh, great, Ignatius. Um, unfortunately, you lost. 105k team power. Nothing too interesting to be honest. Uh, what about you? Uh, 103k team power. This looks like a good team. Oh goodness me, man. This is a res this is a tanky team. This this could very well be a super end game team. Yeah, because tanky teams is the way to go. And this is this is a good team. I can tell it's it's a great team with a, with a lot of resistance. Um, I did luckily have a crap ton of accuracy on my hegemon. I have two hundred and twenty one, so they didn't resist it too hard. Will they resist? Okay, so the Baron he is resisting a lot. Uh, I assume they will resist being frozen. No, the Raisin Scarhide w did not get. Um, he didn't really. He is frozen. So I don't care. Uh, he didn't resist the freeze, which I'm very happy about. Um, I think the the, the the Santa Claus did uh, resist 
um, the decreased turn meter, unfortunately, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, he's a very resistful hero, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a resisting guy. Luckily, the weaken does trigger on him, uh, and now I will just simply do an arcane wave. But yeah, I think this team right here, this is a, this is a, th someone who hopes uh, that they will have a very good team. I, I mean, they have godlike heroes, all I need now is artifacts. I assume they have masteries, I assume they have many things, I just need better artifacts. Um, this is an interesting team, but it's nothing too too interesting, I don't think. Um, what about you? This guy does have a hegemon, and I cannot refuse fighting another hegemon, right? Like, if I if I see a hegemon, I want to fight him. Uh, luckily, I was quicker than them, but I may fail skill locking him. So I did skill lock their enemy hegemon, which is just the best thing that could have ever happened. Because uh, if he did skill lock me, I don't... Only hero of mine that has a lot of resistance is Arbitru, and she can't really do very well alone. <laughs> but she can make, I guess she can make me do a little bit better. Anyway, let's just take out all of these guys. This should be a nice victory, hopefully. The Tyrell did die, yeah, that's very good. Uh, I'm sorry, enemy hegemon, you were good. Um, this could, oh man, a team with an Arbiter, Savia, Valkyrie... Um, and um, Arbiter, Big Un, uh, okay, S Savia, Big Un, Arbiter, Valkyrie. So th this is a very good team, but a good amount of team power as well. Almost as high as mine, which is still surprising to say. Interesting to say, I should say. Um, okay, so they have a counterattack when taking a lot of damage. That's very interesting. So I decreased um, a lot of stats here. I think I just want to hurt the Arbiter a lot. She will buff their turn meters and everything. My raid does have uh, my raid does have 200 speed right now. So luckily, I just ended them. That was amazing. I'm so happy about that. I'm super happy. Uh, but yeah, that that was uh, that was a good team. Like if they had their big Un or their Sevia quicker than my uh, Ray, I think this battle would have changed. Uh, I think the outcome would have changed quite similarly, to be honest. Um, let's now do another 20 openings here. Let's do a 10x and a 10x. Why not? Let, let's try to do a 10x and a 10x. Um, I figure why not. Flinger. Then we have an Elhain, which is another starter. Halbar, Berdir. Muckstalker, Tyrgist, Judge. Muckstalker, Judge. Halberder, and Warpri. So I've gotten a couple of Judges. I've got, if, if this was like uh, a betting thing. This is so... <laughs> what are the chances? Two hal halber halberders, um, a couple of mechstalkers, a couple of judges. This is kind of hilarious. That's I just have to admit that's that's kind of hilarious. Let's see here. We have a slasher. We have a blood painter. Not really interesting. Elder. We have another dark atoll. Not that I need her. Well, maybe I don't know. You can use uh, qu uh, doubles of heroes. I suppose having her as an extra is not too bad. Now we have another fifty shards to go. Um, I do think I want to have this episode 100 and that like exactly one hour. I think that would be a kind of a cool goal. Um, so yeah, who else? Do, what else do I want to do? So I did this yesterday. Um, I do think um, I did say that I maybe want to do a, to do a hero guide, but I don't have the knowledge. I'm I'm curious about how Tun uh, Trunda Gilt Gilt Melet does. Uh, she is a legendary after after all, so she is amazing. I, I'm curious, I'm curious about something, because I was looking for someone with a good aura to use when I just farmed, simply, because, yeah, see, Dark Arc Atal is here because she just increases the attack by 20%, but if I use uh, Guilt Mallet, Magic Alley attack by 36%, does this mean, even if Ray does a weak hit, does it mean that she one shots? I could actually experiment around with the banner, because uh, I do have an attack banner on my ray. Uh, so let's see here, banish, I, I'm doing a lot, it's a 36% attack increase, which is fantastic for just farming overall. Uh, so let's see here, if I don't crit, if I do a weak hit. Okay, so I just one shot all of them um, easily here. Uh, but I'm curious, if I do a weak hit, how, how will that change? Uh, so let's equip this one, let's just equip an attack banner. Uh, and I'm, I'm curious here. Let's see. Let's let's see. I want to look at myself to a weak hit because if this means I can stably farm at eight seconds, this is fun. I've been wanting this for as long as I can remember. <laughs> I've been uh, I've been wanting it for se okay no a weak hit did 10k damage. 
L luckily, the girl, the girl's mallets did end off the enemy. That's very good. Uh, okay, good. Let's see here. Uh, so I did unfortunately not one shot with um, with a weak hit. That is the goal, I suppose, because it's inevitable to with her to not get a weak hit. Let's go. Let's just uh, equip this one one more time. Of course, um, I don't think Ray does uh, two hits uh, before one hit. Okay, so what I what I could do though. Because I do think that I have someone with a speed aura. So if what if I made someone with a speed aura go first? Uh, so let's see here. Do I have anyone with a good speed aura? What about you? That's uh, that's speed in arena. Uh, that's also speed in arena. This is speed in faction crypts. I don't really need that. Um, this is a speed in all battles. Because my raid does have 200 speed. I do not want my high cartoon to have a higher speed than my ray while trying this. So I hope that she's not f properly geared. Okay, so my ray is quicker, but uh, she will obviously do a hit. I, I forgot. My ray will not do two hits before my high cartoon does one hit. That is a problem. I need my ray to do a two hits, but I could potentially just make high cartoon uh, even slower. I could make her have like no speed whatsoever. I could, I could if I had her have no speed or whatever. I think that could be very good. Hikatoon currently is geared interestingly though, yeah. I think, yeah, I've heard, I have her geared uh, for the faction uh, crypts, uh, for, for the faction wars. Okay, so let's do another 20 openings. Um, I'll do a 10x times 1, and then I will do a 10x, 10x. Because the reason why I do it times 1 is because it looks so good if you just summon a legendary hero, you know? Uh, just summoning a legendary hero, having it all in just just one shard. It's an amazing feeling. So I currently I got a sectioned 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 um, purifier, which is a hero that does um, uh, attacks one enemy two times with two random allies. That's so good though. That's so good if the target is under a stun. <laughs> attacks one enemy has a chance of placing stun. Uh, of placing a block fast. I think she could be useful. Imagine she just takes my my ray and my uh, hegemon with her to, to attack an enemy. That's she could be good. She's like that a weaker version of the of the legendary, you know, the bull, like the whatever war chief. Is that his name? I don't actually know, so don't don't quote me on that. I'm not fully sure. Um, so yeah, I got a cataract. Nothing too interesting to be honest. I've I've seen more interesting stuff happen. <laughs> Okay, uh, anointed. Nothing too interesting either. Um, who else? Okay, so we got another epic hero. Uh, Akalia. I think that with Akalia and... Uh, there is, okay, so Kalia. I think Kalia can be good. Attacks all enemy, has HP burn. Attacks all enemies, has a 50 of doing the heal reduction. Attacks three times at random and does. She's just... She could be good for, for a clan boss, I think. I think she has a good clan boss potential. And then we have the Gladiator, which isn't really useful, but I've gotten two epics in 10x here, so that's very good. Uh, and then just another Pounder. So let's do another 10x. Uh, just, a, just a second. <laughs> just after I've, I've put everything in here. Um, I'm not sure if I'll, if I'll have enough uh, space here. <laughs> I don't have enough space. Uh, what can I do with this? I know I can just feed a lot of random easy heroes. Okay, so let's just let's just feed a few heroes here. Just just let's rank up a little bit. This is going to be great. I can make my dwarf uh, six stars very easily uh, at this point. Um, let's just uh, let's just feed all of the knowing heroes. The heroes I know isn't good. Um, that way I don't waste anything. So let's just feed you as well. And yeah, I know for a fact that these heroes right here isn't too great overall. Uh, maybe, was that an adjudicator I fed? Oh well, um, that happens. Uh, so let's just do another Incubus here. Whom do I know is not too great? I know a judge isn't too epic. And uh, let's just feed that here as well. Um, I need I need, I need a good more good amount more space actually. So I, I genuinely have to do this. Uh, Kalis kind of whatever. Kidding. <laughs> I take, I've fed a lot of Kalis before so maybe. Uh, let's just feed. Uh, let's just feed these guys. I don't. I don't necessarily care too much about them. Maybe they're good, but they're rares. Um, I don't really think about rares as being super usable anymore. Maybe. It may, maybe that makes me sound like a 
like a big deal, but um, that's just that's just how I feel at this point. Maybe I'm wrong though, because Faction Wars is there and there's a lot of good rare heroes. Uh, sure, let's just feed you guys. Uh, I don't care about War Priest. I know she is the best hero in the game, but I just had to do it. Mm. There we go. Now we should be able to just uh, vault, a, vault a bit more champions here. Um, sure, I actually do have a couple of more, but let, let's just put everything in, in the vault and see and see how we do. Uh, okay, so how many more space? Okay, so I need 40 slots. I currently have 27, which means I do need to actually... Um, I actually do have to combine together a few more, which is uh, good enough. I don't think that... Because um, I have 700, could I... Hmm... Let's just use 130 and then use... I, d I think this is fine. I don't think I want to use 145 to increase it even more, so... Let's just have it increased by 10. And then I can feed someone random or whatever. Uh, there we go. Um, I can actually... Okay, so where's the level 30s I had? I had a few level 30s. Because uh, I can just feed them, I think. Um, there we go. Let, let's let's take those out. And, and I'll feed a few heroes. And I should have enough slots to do the final 40. Um, that should be fine. Let's upgrade the rank here. Uh, where are they at? Uh, there they are. Let's just combine to you, to get you together. I don't necessarily care too much about all of the dwarves. Actually, and you know what? Never mind. They they could be useful. They're going to be useful. I'll keep them. I'll keep them for the um, for the faction wars. The dwarves could be useful. You never know. Incubus. Okay, good. Uh, and then I just want to feed. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you don't. You're not too great. You're not too great either. Like the, those sounds. They're so common. Okay, good. Now if I clean my inventory, I should have enough space. Um, was it worth the gems? Yeah, sure it was. Uh, so now we can add another two heroes here. Let's add those two. There we go. And now I should have over 40 hero slots. So let's do it. Let's do 10x, 5x, 10x, and 5x. We'll do the final 5x, maybe. Mother Superior, she's a new hero, I think. I haven't seen Mother Superior before. Uh, I didn't even know that was a hero, but Mother Superior, and I got a Blood Feather as well, which is very good. Mother Superior, what are you? Attack and all that, uh, ally speed. I got a Blood Feather, I think a Blood Feather is very good, so that's cool. And now let's do a 5x opening as well, um, and l let's just do it. Um, there we go, we got another Dwarf. Honor Guard, we have many of him already. Maybe we could, wait, maybe we could do a full Honor Guard team. We are getting a lot of dwarves. Master Butcher. Yeah, that's interesting as well. That's very cool. Uh, we got a Mech Stalker. Yeah, if I do this until I'm at 20, then I can do a 10. Hmm, no, let me think here. 5x, 5. Yeah, okay, I know what to do. I will do the final 10 one in once. I hope that I'm able to get one more legendary, but I already got one, so I'm very happy about the results. Um, I could not have been more happy. Well, I could have if I got like a godlike, which is insane, but I'm very happy with getting a legendary whatsoever and it's a dwarf. It's very cool to have a legendary dwarf. You don't say you don't have that, those every day, so it's very cool. Let's just do this here. Uh, and then we'll do one more here and then I'll do 1x, 10x and then 1x, like a full 10x opening. So this will be the final 10x opening. Uh, we'll see if I can make it or not. Um, I got a, an allure, which is fantastic. Uh, even though I have one, you never, you could have, never have enough. Here we are, Marques. We got a tree feller. We got an atel. We got a rotting mage. We got an executioner and a penitent. Penitent, yeah. So allure. Okay, cool. We got. Okay, so we're getting a lot of epic heroes, which is going to be great. Double allure in the demon spawn. Going to be awesome, man. So yeah, I got a hill nomad. Um, and I'll also have to look at the index afterwards and see. Who, whom I've gotten since the last time. <laughs> Sentinel, um, kind of, he is the most common of the comments. <gasps> yes, I think yes. Yes, it's a legendary. Yes, 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 yes. Woo! Two legendaries. I got two legendaries. I don't think this guy is too great. Attacks one enemy, places a provoke if it's critical. Uh, places a 50 uh, an increased defense uh, on all allies. So I could have, instead of m me decreasing the enemy defense, I could have my increased defense. And here, attacks all enemies uh, damage increases according to the, to the amount of HP this champion has lost. Can Black Knights do a lot of damage? 
Uh, places on this champion uh, if it's incomes. Okay. Is this guy good? Please let me know. I got two legendaries. I got two legendaries. I'm so happy. I got two legendaries and 165 shards. I'm not. I'm not sad. I'm very happy. Two legendaries. I'm not sure. I, uh, I'm not sure if he's good or not. Is he good for my team? Is he good for a tanky team uh, like a super duper end game team? Maybe Black Knight is good for that. I'm not sure. Like I'm talking about beyond speed team, like a um, super like a habits team, you know, like a tanky team like that. Have you guys seen Habits, by the way? He's insane. So I got another... I got an Aether, why not? I have him on my free-to-play account, which I haven't played on in a while. Uh, and then we have uh, a Hellfang, which kind of is whatever, like nothing too interesting about him. And then the final hero is uh, I'm a Arcanist. Okay, good. Uh, let's look at all of the new heroes, and then I will show you guys Habits. So I got a Black Knight. I'm not sure if he's too good or not. It's the first legendary Banner Lords, so that, that will be very good for me when it uh, when it comes to like doing the faction wars. Sanctioned F Purifier. Uh, I also got the Mother Superior, which is a fantastic name. I love that. Barbarians. We got uh, Aether for the first time, um, and that's about it. What does Aether do? Could he be Could he be useful uh, in in for my team? Provoke no attacks. No. Yeah, uh, no. Okay. Um, what's what's his aura, or his pi private? Uh, when Kali is an, uh, immune to stun freeze, yeah, it's, he's he, he sucks. I'm sorry. He's not he's not too great <laughs> for my team. So yeah, let me show you guys habits. I think he's in the top clan. I think he's in Gallifrey or whatever, right? Is he in the top clan? Uh, member info. Uh, will their members load or not? Uh, I think I think he is a part of this clan. There we go. Yeah. Habits. He has a 5 million total power and in three heroes. I say I have four heroes, right? I have four heroes. I have 158k team power. This guy has three heroes and it's a 186 k team power. In three heroes, he has that power. That's in, that's so insane. That's uh, Habits, congratulations on being so OP. And yeah, 151k, like just the, the power, man. The power. Gall Gallifrey, great, great clan. If you guys want to join my clan, you deal a lot of damage to the, to the clan boss, and yeah, we rank 60, yeah. Kind of impressive. And yeah, Incredible John got Black Knight Legendary, yes. Um, I would like to um, I would like to thank everyone for watching episode 100. Again, as I said in the beginning of the video, every 10 likes equals $1 to a charity, to the Leonardo DiCaprio, uh, DiCaprio Foundation. You know what, I could actually click on events first. Hopefully the game doesn't crash, uh, and yeah, let's let's just claim this. Uh, and yeah, every every ten likes goes to one dollar. Uh, so yeah, one thousand likes equals ten one hundred dollars to the to a charity, um, and it helps the plot the planet. And it's the I, I'm he's inspiring Leonardo DiCaprio. He's, a, he's my favorite actor, um, and he's he's a cool person. Anyway, uh, have have a good time. And uh, this was episode one hundred. I'm excited. Uh, I, this has been a very good episode. So I will talk to you guys next time. Bye bye.